welcome back to my channel i post new video every single day at 4 p.m at eastern standard time subscribe to my channel and click on the bell if you want to know as soon as i post a new video so today i have a big card for you um what are the intention think of the person and choose a power you're most drawn to i have five powers for you today so let's get started hi power number one so let's see what are their intentions We have the four of wands. They want something serious with you. Maybe, for example, well, usually the four of wands is a marriage card, but it doesn't have to be marriage. Maybe this person wants just uh, to go to the next step with you. You could be dating this person and they want to, maybe they want to renew your relationship, or maybe you're friends and they want to date you. If this is nothing to do, uh, if it doesn't have to do about romance, then they just want to renew your friendship or whatever the case may be. They just want to build, uh, build a new foundation, maybe. You have the Two of Pentacles. You have the Six of Wands. We have the Queen of Wands. Of Swords, sorry. Queen of Swords. Hmm. Maybe this person is multitasking a lot. Maybe they want to put time and energy towards you, but maybe they still they can. There's something that's stopping from doing that. We have the Four of Cups. Yeah, this could be somebody that's successful or maybe that's somebody that puts you on the bed and on a pedestal or vice versa well i feel like it could be somebody that's very cold but very acting this that and they want you to put your swords down they want you to feel comfortable with them i feel like i don't feel like this person has bad intentions Let's see. Or maybe that's them wanting to put their swords down. Maybe they don't want to act cold and distant towards you. Maybe they act this way towards other people, but with you, they don't want to do that. Maybe, maybe it feels that way and they don't want to do that to you. We have the Six of Swords. Maybe they're stuck in the past, or this is somebody that has to leave in the, somebody from the past. Maybe they're still stuck uh, from someone from their past. Or maybe, yeah, maybe they want to leave you, but I don't feel like they want to leave you. Maybe you that's you wanting to leave this person. We have the Eight of Swords. Hmm. Maybe you, it's because maybe you can't read this person. Maybe you're not sure of this person's intentions. And maybe, yeah, you're blocking yourself. You don't know if you want to leave this person or not. If you want to stay with this person or work things with this person. But I don't feel like this person has bad intentions. I feel more like this is you that wants to leave this person. Let's see. We have the Nine of Cups. Hmm. Maybe you're not ready to be in a, in a relationship. But the Nine, it doesn't make sense because, it wouldn't make sense because the Nine of Cups is somebody that's emotionally fulfilled and they're actually ready to share their, their cup. Or maybe you're not ready for this person. Maybe 
you know maybe you're not confident that this person you're work worthy of this person because this person has too much to offer to you and you feel like you won't be able to give that back we have the knight of swords yeah you are very um a lot of your end you're very you're overthinking you could be having a hard time falling asleep as well maybe you're you you're dreaming about this person maybe you're scared not necessarily to comment but maybe you're scared that you won't you're scared of this person i don't know why maybe you're scared to comment because i feel a lot of doubt a lot of somebody that's very confused i feel like this is me i don't feel like this person has bad intentions whatsoever let's clarify the cards what is the four of wands again We have the tower card. Yeah, maybe it's not gonna. You're not gonna uh, expect from this person to want something serious with you. You're gonna be very surprised. You could be seen with the Scorpio. Yeah, I feel like you're, this person wants something serious, and you're just gonna be very shocked. It's gonna be very um, not out of nowhere, but you're not gonna expect it. And maybe you're not used to it for someone to want something so serious. Let's clarify the two of pentacles. What is the two of pentacles here? What is the two of pentacles here? What is the two of pentacles here? We have the king of wands yeah i feel like this is could be dealing with the fire sign leo aries or Jets. i feel like this person is mature like they're very confident standing on their ground passionate as well let's clarify this page of no the six of wands Why is the six of wands here? Maybe this could be somebody very successful and you're just not on that level of success. We have the nine of swords again. Yeah. Like I said, maybe you're you feel like you maybe you're putting them on this pedestal and you're like, I'm not worthy to be with this person. Like this person is way up my level. Maybe you feel yeah, you feel, I feel like you feel unworthy around this person. Let's see, why is the Queen of Swords here? Why is the Queen of Swords here? Why is this Queen of Swords? We have the World card. Could be seen with the Fixed Sign, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus. Hmm. I feel like you still haven't moved on from a past situation and why you worried about this new relationship. Maybe I'm not gonna see something and then it not be right. So let's clarify this for of words. Four of cups. Why is the four of cups? Yeah, I feel like they're gonna make you an offer but they're not necessarily gonna be open about it. Or are you going to feel, I don't know. Yeah, we have a couple here. We have the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. We have the Moon and the Queen of Wands here. Could be dealing with the um, Pisces. Maybe you could be both fire sign or you're very... 
both very passionate you could be having traits of a fire sign both of you yeah you feel like this person is too secretive or maybe you're that's you uh not being totally honest with this person that you're not confident maybe you're acting confident on the outside but you're not as confident as you seem or maybe i feel like I feel like you are worthy of this person. I feel like you don't know how much you are worth. And I see like this person sees that. But you don't feel this way. And you don't want to do this person to know. Yo, this is completely like out of the context. Because this is what are their intentions. But I, like I said... I don't feel like they have bad intention more than anything. I feel like you're blocking your, yourself from this person. Let's see, why is the Six of Swords? Why is the Six of Swords? We have the Judgment card and the Nine of Cups. You're here, for, you're thinking of leaving this person, or when you're gonna leave, this person is gonna come towards you and make a new offer. Or maybe since you don't feel worthy of this person, maybe this person is going to leave and you're actually going to make that decision to offer them something, to actually decide to want something more with this person. Let's see, why is the Eight of Swords here? 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 We have the Devil, the Eight of Cups, and Three of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you were in a karm. Maybe you were in a karmic situation in the past with somebody, and you left this person, or this person left you, and you wanted to work things out, but they just let you out in the cold, and now you're blocking yourself emotionally from whatever that's coming towards you. And I feel like this is. This person, this is something, this is something good. Like, this person wants something serious with you. Like, they want to commit to you. Let's see, why is this Nine of Cups here? Why is this Nine of Cups here? We have the Ace of Swords. Yeah, I feel like this person is going to come and tell you how they feel. They're gonna be honest with you. Yeah, we have the Eight of Swords again. You're block. You're gonna block yourself from this. You're not gonna want to acknowledge that they told you that. Let's see. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Why is the Knight of Swords? Why is the Knight? Yeah, you're not very open about it. We have the Four of Pentacles. You're not very open about it. You're you're standing on your crown. You're not leaving, letting this person enter your life. But let's get an advice. Let's do. It. We have the Wall Spirit turn knowledge into wisdom. Number sixty-seven down to the thirty. Yeah, whatever this karmic situation person was. Learn from this situation and put it to use with this new person. This past person, this comic situation happened for a reason. And the universe wanted you to learn something out of it so that you could use, take use of it in the future. And I feel like this, with this new person, this is your time to use that knowledge. I don't feel like this is a bad person. Maybe because you were hurt in the past, you think that this person wants something evil or you just that this person is gonna end up breaking your heart but i i think you're just blocking yourself from this so turn knowledge into wisdom but yeah that's it that's what i have for you part one and i will see you next time bye guys i have part number two so let's see what are their intentions
we have the ten of pentacles yeah he wants something solid with you they want something emotionally fulfilling financially fulfilling and i don't i don't feel like you're gonna be worrying about your finances with this person because they're gonna put in the work emotionally and financially we have the two of swords but maybe you're gonna block yourself from this we have to ease of wands, but this person wants a new passion and beginning with you. And I feel like they're also very attracted to you physically. We have the magician. They want a new beginning with you, but it's in with the Aries. We have the Empress. Yeah, they feel like you're very relaxed. You're very nurturing. You have like that very um mother like energy, very nurturing. They could as well want you know a family with you. I'm putting it in the nicest way possible. Yeah, they want a family with you. Or maybe, yeah, you could be pregnant with this person. Or already having a kid with this person. It's not a one. Yeah, they, we'll have the night of ones. Yeah, this person is going to come towards you very passionate and very fast. But be careful with the night of ones. The night of ones could be somebody that comes as fast as they Go, but I don't feel like this person is gonna leave you because they want something solid with you. We have the seven of cups. Yeah, maybe this person thinks that you have a lot of options, or maybe they feel like you're something that they you're. How can I say that? The, the seven of cups is something that's very fantastic that's hard to believe in maybe you're they're like you're the person of their dream and they never thought that you would come in their life like you existed we have the five of cups i feel like this is somebody that if they lost you they they're gonna be very sad about it yeah i feel like you have a lot of options and they're scared to not they're scared to lose you but if they were to lose you they were they're gonna be very regretful about it we have the sun card here yeah they're couching their time watching the sunset i feel like they want to watch a sunset with you as well but yeah i feel like as well they want to offer you flowers and they feel like the time is going slow without you hence why they're coming very fast very passionate towards you they can't wait anymore Let's clarify the cards. Why is it, even though I don't need to clarify it, the, but why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Could be dealing with the Virgo. We have the Hermit card. Yeah, I feel like the, this person took a time out to really think, see how they to plan how they're gonna. Um, work things out with you and now that they took their time out they know that they want this ten of pentacles with you could be seen with an aquarius yeah they're willing to let go of anything that's from the past and they're willing to commit to you they see you as the center of their world you are very important to them let's start let's start for these two of swords why is the two of swords now why is the two of swords now why is the two of swords now We have the Ant-Man, the King of Cups, and the Six of Swords. Yeah, maybe saw, this is somebody that was stuck and they gathered that emotion and decided to leave somebody in the past. This could be you. Maybe you're stuck between two people, but you're deciding to leave somebody and you're, I feel like you're going to be willing to accept this new person because this person was something solid with you. I feel like maybe you gather your thoughts and you, you're decided to let somebody from the past because you were not happy with this person and now you see somebody coming new and they're wanting something solid with you and you, yeah you, you see that you don't even hesitate to leave this person in the past because you know that you want you know that this person is wanting to comment and they're telling you straight up that let's see what is the ace of wands here what is the ace of wands yeah we have the ace of cups ace of wands and ace of cups yeah 
very passionate a new very passionate beginning very emotionally fulfilling they're gonna cup with their cup is not gonna be empty it's gonna be way more filled than you ever thought it would gonna be let's see why is the magician now why is the magician why is the magician here we have the knight of wands and the ten of swords maybe you're gonna be on the defense about this person because you had a painful beginning before this could be somebody from the past coming back as well but i don't feel like this is the case maybe you're still uh trying to move on from this past person energetically and yeah maybe this was a karmic situation could have been done with capricorn or maybe you had an addiction and you're just wanting to take time off before accepting this person even though you want a new beginning with them let's see what is the empress here yeah you just want to rest you could be somebody very generous yeah maybe in the past relationship it was somebody that gave a lot without receiving but you decided to cut this person because maybe you were the only one giving in this relationship let's see why is the knight of swords a uh, knight of wands here why is the Knight of Wands here? Why is the Knight of Wands here? Why is the Knight of Wands here? We have the Seven, yeah, the Seven of Wands and the Three of Swords. Yeah, you, you're, I feel like you're not gonna accept this person right away because you're still heartbroken over this past person. But I feel like you want this person, but not right now let's see why is the seven of cups here why is the seven of cups here? and maybe i feel like they're scared that while you take this break you're gonna accept somebody else's offer the we have the hierophant and the two of pentacles we could be dealing with the taurus we have the queen of cups as well let's see Um, I feel like you're gonna stay loyal to the deceased person, and even though you're still gonna <laughs> see the other offers, I feel you're still. I think you're still gonna still loyal to this person, and you're you're just trying to deal with your emotions. Let's see, where's the five of cups here? Where's the five of cups here? We have the moon. Maybe you're scared that this person is gonna leave you, but you don't want them to know that. Could be Pisces or dealing with one. But you're gonna come forward towards them. Could be a cancer or dealing with one. We have why is the sun card here? 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 Hmm, but there's something stopping you. Maybe you're still stuck on somebody from the past and you still cannot be fully happy with this new person coming in. Yeah, we have the Ace of Wands again and the Ten of Pentacles again. But you know that you want this new passion to begin with this person and you want something solid with this person. You, I feel like you're on the same page, but I feel like it's the wrong timing with this person. Yeah, let's get an advice for you. We have tricky spirit give gratitude and increase numbers 61 down to seven yeah i feel like take this time to put it on yourself focus to hell on yourself if, if this person truly wants something solid with you they're gonna wait but don't take advantage of this and make them wait forever because yes they want you but they're not don't think that they're gonna stay forever okay just take that in mind but yeah, that's it. That's what I have for you, Balti. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys. Hi, Bal number three. So let's see what are the intentions. We have the Five of Swords, the Eight of Cups. I feel like this person is still stuck in the past or stuck from the past. You could be having some dealing with this person. You could have to dealt with this person from the past maybe they're stuck on you we have the king of pentacles could be seen with an earth sign virgo tour 
with Capricorn, we have the Angel de la Nuit, which is a card from the uh, a unique card with the deck. We have the Justice card could be dealing with the Libra. We have the Queen of Pentacles could be dealing with an Earth sign. We have a couple here. Hmm. I feel like you could have been on the scene. Yeah, I feel maybe you thought this person was a match for you. Uh, but with the Eight of Cups, I feel like this person left you, but maybe they're still wanting to come back. And this person got their karma for sure. Let's see. You could have dealt with this person in a legal issue as well. Maybe this person is coming back to revenge, to be petty on you back, if this is the one that you left. Okay, let me say it with it. If this person that was in the past left you, and they're coming back, this is your chance to be petty, to revenge yourself if you have to. But I feel like if they're coming as well, they're coming wanting to get a revenge or be petty back, if you're the one that left them. But whatever the case may be, this is your chance to finally get a real closure and to give them what they deserve. We have the Ten of Pentacles. This person was something solid with you or that's what they want you to believe. We have the Four of Wands. Yes, the Four of Wands is something, is the marriage card. Maybe they want to tell you that they want something serious. Maybe that could be true, but be on guard because with these five of swords i don't know about that let's see we have the knight of pentacles yeah this person is taking their time to come could be seen with the yeah we have a row a row of pentacles yeah could be an earth sign for sure but doesn't have to be I'm gonna read straight out the book, the Angel de la Nuit card for you. Okay, I am the Angel of Night. If you pick me up, then my message to you is that your inner night is soon coming to an end. You may have walked in darkness for some time, but soon, very soon, a new full moon will rise and will show you the way. My phosphorescent butterflies are here to guide you. Believe in love, believe in me, believe in you. My black soft wings are protecting you from now on. Into your hair. I whisper my sweet holiday and my sweet lullaby, sorry, I have no fear, honey, everything is going to be fine. The night is nothing to be afraid of anymore and the warm sun that you hold within is ready to shine again. Okay. But yeah, I feel like, don't worry, like, yes, you may be feeling overwhelmed with this person. This could have been somebody, somebody very well financially, and you could have put a lot of work into, into this as well. Or I feel like maybe somebody new is coming in. Let's see. Why is the five of swords here? Why is the five of swords here? What is this five of swords here? We have the eight of wands and the ace of pentacles. Yeah, this person could be coming very fast. Um, maybe you, you, I feel because the eight of swords, uh, the eight of wands, sorry, is something somebody that you manifested could be someone that you manifested. I feel like you manifested this person. Maybe I'm on, not uh on purpose but 
I'm gonna just say this in case that you're the one that manifested them. Be careful at what you think because I under be careful uh, of your thoughts because if you're like, oh my god, this person is gonna come back. I'm scared this person is gonna come back. Then they might actually come back and you're not even knowing that you're the one that manifested this person back. So be careful with that. This person could be traveling towards you as well. Maybe they're gonna try to offer you something solid, stable. Or this is just somebody that could move on from you if you're the one that um let this person let's see why is this eight of cups here we have the two of pentacles yeah you may have left this person because they were not focusing enough on you they were always um multitasking if they were not doing this thing then they were doing something else or maybe you were not very sure if you wanted to leave this person or not Let's see, why is the King of Pentacles here? We have this Queen of Cups. Yeah, maybe you were, I feel like you were not acting emotionally with this person. Or maybe this is them not fulfilling you emotionally. Always focusing about their money. Let's see. Yeah, this is something that wasn't... Mm, could, be, could have been done with uh, Sagittarius. I feel like... There wasn't, there was, it wasn't something very balanced. I feel like they were, you were, maybe you could have been the only one keeping the balance in. Maybe they were just giving you money. Yeah, maybe this person felt out of reach to you. Let's see, why is the justice card here? But I feel like this person got their karma. Could be seen with the Aries. Yeah, somebody took a leap of faith here. Yeah, they were heartbroken here. They could have been a third party situation. Yeah, this, per this best person might have given you an offer, but you were not willing to accept it. You were not open to even see what the offer was about. Let's see, what is the Queen of Pentacles here? Yeah, I feel like this is you that left them. You were not fulfilled emotionally with this person. Let's see, why is the Ten of Pentacles in? Maybe that's been serious with this person. Or maybe this person is coming back, wanting something more serious, willing to put work into this. Yeah, we have the Lover card. Could be dealing with the Gemini. Yeah, the Gemini, uh, the Lover's card is a deep connection. This is a past life connection, a soulmate connection. And maybe they realize, maybe they, they realize like how much they love you and they want something more serious with you. Why is it for a long time? Why is it for a long time? We have the Empress and the Death card. Could be dealing with the Virgo, Taurus, or Scorpio. Yeah, if you're very nurturing, I feel like this is you that wanted something more with this person or you're expecting more from this person but you were strong enough to know your worth and just leave this person but i feel like this is them coming fully back let's see what is another pentacles here you have the knight of wands yeah they're coming slowly but they're very passionate and they, they want to come fast but they feel like it's better to take their time because maybe this is, I feel like this is a past person coming and they know that they may have hurt you from the past where they were not very committed, very, not very serious and now they, they, they want to take their time. So let's get an advice for you. We have virtuous spirit. Nothing is wasted. Number sixty-three down to nine. Yeah, I feel like if yeah, you didn't lost nobody. I'm so sorry about it. But um, 
Whoever this past person is, it's not a waste. This person was not worth your energy, your time, your effort. If this person is coming back, I feel like this is your chance to give them the taste of their own medicine. But yeah, that's it. That's what I have for you, Palpy. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys. Hi, Pal 4. So let's see what are their intentions. We have the Five of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, the Angel, the Vani, which I'm going to read from directly from the book for you. We have the Cherub, uh, because the Angel, the Vani is not a tarot card, it's an additional card from this deck. Uh, we have the Eight of Cups, could be dealing with the Cancer. Let's see what else. I feel like this could be a past person. We have the lovers card could be dealing with the Gemini. Okay. What are the intentions? Maybe maybe you gave up on the fight with somebody, but they did not give up on you and they want something. So I with you, they want the Ten of Pentacles, they want something financially, emotionally fulfilling with you. Mm. They're coming towards you, and they're determined. Yeah, definitely at the center of the deck, we have the Eight of Cups. Yeah, there's somebody that left. And you can see the person actually smirking. Mm. They're... Mm, I don't know why, but I feel like this could be somebody that's manipulative or that has a lot of a big ego. They're like, you're leaving me? Don't worry about it. I'm coming back. Type of energy. I don't feel like this person is necessarily trustworthy. Hmm. Let's see, we have the Magician could be dealing with the Aries, the Empress could be dealing with the Virgo Taurus. Let's get one more card. We have the Death card, could be dealing with the Capricorn. So let me read for you the angel that I need. It says, I am the angel of night. If you pick me up, then my message to you is that your inner night is soon turning to a coming to an end you may have walked in dark darkness for some time but soon very soon your hindu full moon will rise and will show you the way my, my phosphorescent butterflies are here to guide you believe in luck believe in me believe in you my black soft wings are protecting you from now on into your hair I whisper my sweet lullaby. Have no fear, honey. Everything is going to be fine. The night is nothing to be afraid of anymore. And the warm sun that you hold within is ready to shine again. Yeah. I feel like this is somebody that was very... <sighs> 
feel like this is if this is somebody that's yeah if this is somebody that left you this is very somebody very manipulative because i feel like they're wanting to come back because they love you i feel like the they try to see if there was somebody be better than you or a deeper connection somewhere else and they couldn't find it and maybe that's why they're coming back but we have at the ending of your reading we have the death card so i feel like they're, they may be gonna come back to take your energy like a vampire um a vampire energy and they're just gonna steal your energy take whatever they can they're just gonna leave you because i see a ending at the end of your reading yeah i don't feel like this person is coming for something long term or maybe just they make you they want to make you believe that yeah let's clarify the cards why is the five of swords here we have the two of swords yeah, you're not sure if you're gonna want this person back. Let's see. Yeah, this person made a big impact in your life. A big change in your life. But I feel like this person feels like you're destined to each other. Could be dealing with the fake sign. Leap, uh, sorry, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. Could be dealing with the Cancer as well. Yeah, they're coming fast and they're coming towards you. Why is it Ten of Pentacles? Yeah, yeah they want, they're gonna tell you they want something solid with you, but hmm, you're not gonna be open about it. Yeah, this person know that they lost you and they can't stop thinking about they lost you, they feel sorry. I don't think they're gonna ever say, are they gonna say literally they're sorry? I don't think so, but do they feel sorry? I feel like yes. Yeah, when this person, yeah, we have to send the chariot, so this could be somebody coming very fast. Yeah, it's gonna be, could be dealing with the Scorpio, it's gonna be very shocking out of nowhere. You're not gonna expect this. Yeah, this could be somebody you didn't have a solid foundation with. Yeah, we have the Eight of Wands. This person is coming fast towards you. You could have manifested this person back into your life. Maybe this person is traveling towards you. Or you could be traveling towards them. I feel like maybe they're going to message you soon. Yeah, definitely we have this past energy person. Could be seen with the Gemini. Maybe they want to offer you flowers. I feel like maybe they're going to apologize to you. Or have an apology. Yeah, why is the Eight of Cups here? Yeah, why is the Eight of Cups here? Yeah. You have the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, you weren't sure if you wanted to leave this person. Or if you left this person, it's because this person was too multitasking. They were not putting enough time and energy on you let's see why is the lover here we have the seven of pentacles but this person loves you and they're gonna be patient with you let's see why is the magician here hmm either it's you or them but there's somebody here that yeah i feel like this could be you this is somebody that put a lot of work and effort into the relationship and you're gonna be defensive guarded or about this new beginning with them let's see what's the empress here be careful because it could be coming to steal your money yeah this was a, a deep connection with them maybe you want to reunite with them or maybe i feel like you're waiting for a new uh person to come in it is in with the aries yeah you're just gonna take a leap of faith you're gonna stand on your crown and this point energy waiting for the emperor to come could be waiting for aries or somebody that's 
way better for you because now you see your word and you're i don't think you're gonna see this person that let's see why is the death card here 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 we have the temperance could be done with the um, sagittarius yeah I feel like you're wanting your peace. You're, I think you're not going to accept this person in back because you want your, to keep your peace to yourself. You want to keep your sanity. Let's get an additional message for you. We have Dark Spirit, be aware to what you love, number 19, to him, 10. But yeah, worry about yourself, focus on what you love. Yeah, take this time to put it on yourself and don't waste your energy on this past person. But yeah, that's it. That's what I have for you, Buffer. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys. Hi, Bon number five. So let's see what are their intentions. The Nine of Cups. We have the Knight of Wands. We have the Seven of Swords, the Judgment card. The Two of Wands. The Four of Swords. The Knight of Pentacles could be seen with the Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have the Chariot could be seen with the Cancer, and we have the King of Swords could be seen with the Air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So there's somebody here that's very emotionally fulfilled, somebody that wants more, but there's somebody that's also very defensive about it. I feel like this is you being defensive. We have next to hit the seven of swords. So hmm. hold on. Hmm. Maybe because this person was very sneaky in the past, this could be a past person with somebody that you're already death with or maybe this is you trying to be sneaky with this person yeah you're gonna make a big decision two of wands maybe this person sees you as their world but maybe you're not on the same page with them you're wanting to take a break from this person Maybe because this person took too much time to come. Hmm. Maybe you could be dealing with two people because we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Chariot. And the Knight of Pentacles is somebody coming very slow, but the Chariot is somebody coming very fast. Or maybe you're on the defense because or thinking and thinking of leaving this person because you feel like you're taking too much time. But maybe that's your perspective because if this is the same person, I feel like they're coming fast. But maybe you feel like they're taking too much time. And this person is gone. Maybe this person is acting too mysterious and maybe they're acting a little bit distant. Let's clarify the cards. Why is the Knight of Pentacles? Not the Knight of Cups here, so. 
Yeah, we have the seven of swords here. I feel like this is you being sneaky on them. Or maybe you feel like they're, they're not quite honest with you. Yeah, you're not sure if you want this person or not. Where's the seven of swords? Yeah. Yeah, you, you're resting on, you're not taking decision yet. You're, you're taking your time to rest to make sure you have the right decision. You're taking your time to make the right decision because you could have been hurt in the past. You could have been dealing with the third party situation that doesn't have to be with the, necessarily with the cheating. Yeah, we have two time to judgment card. The judgment card clarifying the judgment card. Yeah, this is a big decision for you and you don't want to take this decision too fast. Let's see. Why is the two of wands here? Why is the two of wands here? Yeah, you're fighting emotionally or maybe you could be arguing with this person back and forth. Let's see. Why is the four of swords here? Why is the four of swords? We have the moon. Yeah, you're not could be dealing with the Pisces. Yeah, you're not necessarily telling this person that you're taking a decision if you want to leave them or not, if you're gonna be sticky. Yeah, could be dealing with the Gemini. Yeah, I feel like this is a past person that's coming back. Maybe you're stuck on somebody from the back uh from the past. Sorry. But yeah, why is this not a pentacles? Yeah. Yeah. This there's somebody successful coming in and they're gonna you're gonna feel very nurturing to this person. Maybe you're gonna put this person on the better stool or this person is gonna put you on the better stool. But I feel like this person is gonna see your worth and you're gonna feel very nurturing to them. Yeah, could be saying with your Taurus. Yeah, I feel like this is a couple here. But um yeah, the the your friend is somebody very loyal that loves to go uh, to do things in a certain way. So they're not gonna skip steps with you. They want to make sure like you're taking their time and they're doing the right thing with you. Let's see, why is it cherry? Why is it cherry? Yeah. Yeah, two of cups. Yeah, this person wants something good with you. They want to date you. They have a deep connect not a deep connection but they have a, a connection with them you can be dealing with a leho yeah this person is gonna make you feel strong you're gonna feel strong with this person and this person i feel like you're, you're with this person you're gonna realize your strength your, your true strength and yet there's somebody this king of swords is coming and i feel like they're gonna tell you how they um how they feel and with this queen of wands, yeah, they just see your worth. You see you that way, and that's how they see you as well. Like, you're somebody that stands on their ground. You're confident, you're passionate, you're seeing your beauty in and out. And I feel with the cat here, you're, you're lucky. Like, luck is on your side. Or I feel like with this per this new person coming in, they feel lucky around you or and or they feel lucky to have you. But maybe you're stuck on somebody from your past or you're not knowing where to go next to this person. But I feel like with the six of pentacles at the bottom of the I feel like you're wait willing to put the work in. Or this could be them as well. You could be both very, both very generous people. Let's get another full message for you. We have Eagle Spirit. Spirit as your back. Number 25 down to 5. Yeah, I feel like, yes, maybe somebody is going to leave you. But someone good is going to come. And we have Truth Transits Illusions. Number 22 down to 4. Yeah, be careful at what this past person tells you because their actions, I feel like you focus on their actions more at more than what they are actually saying. But yeah, that's it. That's what I have for you, Paul 5. And I will see you next time.